I'm Charles Bankhead of MedPage Today, reporting from the Digestive Disease Week in New Orleans. Treatment with the tumor necrosis factor inhibitor, sertilizumab pegol, induced long-term responses in patients who had lost response to previous anti-TNF therapy or who had taken drug holidays. Dr. William Sanborn of the Mayo Clinic reported the results at Digestive Disease Week. The original PRECISE-2 trial was a six-month trial where patients got uh, six weeks of open-label treatment, and then if they responded, they were re-randomized to maintenance therapy with sertilizumab pegol or placebo. If patients relapsed uh, during the course of the follow-up during six months, they could be retreated with sertilizumab pegol. Now, some, half the patients were already receiving sertilizumab, and so what we were wondering was whether a temporary dose intensification by giving an extra dose at two weeks in between a regular four-week dosing cycle would recapture the response. So you can think of this as a kind of reinduction. Other patients, the other half of the patients, were uh, being followed with placebo, having initially responded to sertilizumab pegol. And in those patients, we were looking to see if giving three doses of sertilizumab pegol, as we did originally, and then following that on with regular every four-week dosing would recapture the patient. So it was. Uh, what to do if patients for some reason have had a drug holiday and want to come back to the drug, and for patients that had initially responded, lost response, um, while on therapy, what do you do with those patients? And what did the results of the study show you? Well, what we found is we could uh, recapture response in both treatment groups in about half the patients. And then when we followed those patients out for uh, beyond four years, that uh, you could maintain that benefit in about uh, a third or so of, of the patients overall. So there were really several messages from the trial, I would say. First of all, uh, if patients uh, have had a drug interruption for some reason, you can reinduce with sertilizumab and if the patients respond, continue as maintenance therapy. If patients are receiving maintenance therapy with sertilizumab and they have a relapse, uh, you can intensify the dosing regimen. I think we also learned from this trial that, that not all patients who respond to the dose intensification will uh, continue that maintenance, and so some of those patients probably need a dose intensification or dose escalation that lasts permanently. This study didn't address that, but we know it from some other uh, data sets. And so th this is really one more arrow in our quiver uh, for you know, how to manage the, the loss of response in patients. And it's, I think it's a welcome and interesting piece of information. Sanborn said patients with prior anti-TNF therapy had durable responses as well as those who were anti-TNF naive. However, the response rate in anti-TNF experienced patients were about 10 to 15 percentage points below the anti-TNF naive patients, consistent with previous results that's been reported with TNF inhibitors. From Digestive Disease Week in New Orleans, I'm Charles Bankhead, MedPage Today.